Hi, thank you for viewing a Hobby Print How To video. Today we're going to show you how to download drivers for the manufacturer's website to set up a new printer. Although printers are supplied with CD installation discs, we do recognise that these days a lot of PCs and laptops don't have a CD-ROM, so you would need to go down and download the drivers. Um, we would recommend that you do this from the manufacturer's website to get full control to the printer because although you can do it from the Windows drivers, you won't get full functionality. Today we're going to set up a Canon TS705 printer, so we're going to go to the Canon website for the drivers. We're going to use Mozilla Firefox because it seems to be the most reliable one. So we've clicked on support and now we're going to click on download and help and you can see it brings up the drivers. Now what this should do is automatically find your printer once we've selected it. So 705 and you can see it's found it there. Now here you do have a choice in what you want to download. Today we're just going to do the drivers, but if you want the software, the manuals, apps so that you can print from um, other devices, phones, etc. Updates on firmware, which we wouldn't recommend. Um, error codes, etc. It's all there, but today we're just concentrating on the drivers. It's automatically found my operating system. If it doesn't, then you can use the drop-down list to find your operating system. But we're OK, so we'll keep going. Now, we have a choice here of a full package, which would include all the software, etc. Um, patches, which we're not interested in today. The one we want is the driver. So it's automatically found everything for us, so we would just click Download. We have to accept their terms. Now it's given us a choice of a driver so we just click on save to start the download. Depending on the browser that you're using um, the instructions will slightly differ so you need to follow the on-screen instructions at this stage but for Mozilla Firefox it's telling us to go up to the right hand side and click the down arrow to start the download process. So here we go, and we follow the on-screen instructions again as it starts to download. It will take you through it screen by screen, it's quite simple. You have to agree to their terms and conditions, and it's going to start by looking for the printer. Now we're going to start it with a USB connection. You can set it up with wireless at this stage, but you would need to know all your passwords, etc. before you get into this. So now it's telling us to connect the printer and switch it on. And it's complete. So now it's going through the process of making sure everything's correct. This will give you access to all the print controls um, and all the maintenance etc. So you can do head cleans. So it is important that you go through this. Thank you. That's all.